and shine in the beautiful light and you can hear in the background some impalas going it's just walking can you hear that it's impalas because the impalas can sorry for that the impalas can see her and they're going all crazy and there she is and that's the cheetah calling the cubs did you hear that and the cubs come running here that's the cheetah calling the cubs. Can you hear that? She's calling the cubs and the cubs are coming running. See how playful they are on that tree. The mother keeps calling them and, you know, at this age they're very playful. They're like, they don't care what the mother is saying. We need to do a bit of play and look around. How exciting is that? Trying to climb that deadlock, then jumping down again. But I think they have to obey and follow the mother. How nice. You can hear them run just behind the car. And Senzo is trying to catch up with them. They, all the three of them together. Having a little walk in the wilderness. The impalas have taken off. What a classic walk. So we're gonna try and follow them slowly and find out where they're going. This is wonderful stuff. The impalas are gone and they're walking the cheetahs, stopping and getting a bit of shade because it's a, a bit warm now. So just try and get in front of them. Okay, that's good. Sorry about the aerial, but that's the mother there coming towards the car. Very comfortable of us. The two young cubs following the mother closely. I'm not sure they're going off the boundary, but hopefully we'll stick with them for quite some time. Look at that young one, very inquisitive of Franklin's in the background there. what she's thinking but the mother is on fast pace moving towards the other block and what we'll do we'll still have one more chance before we lose them if they're going to go and cross the boundary to a different area let's have one more look of these beautiful cuts before we lose them so we'll try and go through here and avoid pushing them into the space and letting them do what they want to do it has been great to have them for the last two days. We'd we'll be more than happy to have them again in the very near future. Slowly the mother walking, not in the thickets like Tandy before, but they might be crossing the boundary here, but we have a very good chance to see them maybe say goodbye to them and tell them to have a great day and hopefully where they venture into, they'll be coming back to us soon. How is that sense of good? Okay, let's just have a look at them and know where they exactly want to go. But now we are on the boundary here, the northern boundary. And it's them to decide where they'll go. That's the mother in the lead and the cubs following slowly. Then she looks left and right on the big road there and deciding which way, left or right, or cross the road. They come crossing the road slowly. And they're so close to us now. And you can see I twice the tears. You can see the mother there very close to us. And the caps. This is fantastic. Thank you, Lou. It's very cool just to see them walk there. Lux flicking their tails. Enjoying the wilderness. The cubs staying pretty close to mama, but they're staying more close together than staying near the mother. I'm looking at them like, say, six months old, but that's just a wild guess. And maybe another one year from now, the mother will be telling them goodbye. Let me just turn around and see how 
they are doing and what direction they want to go. They're still on the road. And they haven't made a decision of where they want to go. So let's see where they'll be going. They're just crossing the boundary there. The mother just crossed the boundary. How is that sensor? And maybe this could be the last we're seeing of these beautiful cheetahs as they walk away, crossing the boundary into a different block. Not sure they might get some nice place to lay down and keep the heat of the day away from them. We may still have a chance to see them if the mother decides to lay down under that bush there. But she keeps walking. And having made a kill yesterday, maybe they'll be thinking to get another meal for the day. Having two cubs of that age, she may need to have a kill every other day. And then she's going to another block and saying adios and goodbye to all of us. And hopefully 